everyone! Today we're going to make Christmas Stalin and this is a traditional um, German sweet bread. I have four cups of sifted flour. I have one pound of chopped up dates. I have one cup of candied pineapple that's diced up. I have one cup of maraschino cherries cut up and I typically just quarter those. Then I have a half cup of nuts. Um, I prefer walnuts, but if you um, like pecans or something, you can use those as, instead. Then I have one half cup of sugar, a quarter cup of water, three quarters cup of milk. You're going to need three packages of, of active yeast, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, a half teaspoon of salt. You're going to need an additional one teaspoon of sugar. Three egg yolks. One cup of butter. Um, and this will make three loaves of Stalin M and eventually you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Alright, the first thing I did is you're going to want to scald your milk. So I just put um, the milk in this pot and I um, heated it up. I did it right around a medium temperature on the stove and once it's scalded all you'll see is some little bubbles on the edge. You do not want to boil your milk and then all you'll do is you'll just set this to the side until it gets to be lukewarm. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is and I just heated my water up so it's nice and warm in the microwave. You're just going to put that into a bowl and um, make sure your bowl, does not, bowl is not ice cold either. And then you're just going to sprinkle in all of your yeast. And then you're just going to let that soften in the warm water for just a couple minutes. Once your yeast is softened, then I just mixed it together a little bit. Then all you're going to do is you're going to add in your teaspoon of sugar. Stir that together and then let just that sit for another minute or so. Alright, then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to add our milk into the mixture and we'll slowly mix that. The next thing we're going to do is we just got our softened butter and then we're going to take our half cup of sugar and then we're just going to cream these together. Once you've got that cream together, then all you're going to do is just add that to your milk and yeast mixture. And then just mix it together. Then the next thing do is we're just going to add in our egg yolks, our salt, and our nutmeg. And you're just going to combine that a little bit. Alright, then all we're going to do is add about two cups of our sifted flour. And then you're just going to combine this until it's nice and smooth. Once you have that all mixed together, then all you're going to do is you're going to add in your last two cups of flour and then just stir it in. Once you've got it all mixed together, then I um, have a clean surface that I have floured. And then just put a little flour in there to help me get it out easier. And then I usually just put a little extra flour on top. And then you're just going to start to knead this together. Alright, I kneaded this 
um, until it basically wasn't very sticky anymore. Then I've got a bowl that is greased. All you're going to do is you're just going to set that in your bowl. You're going to want to place it on a warm surface um, to let it rise until it's about doubled, and you are going to want to cover it with a cloth. While your um, bread is rising and it's almost doubled, then all you're going to do is you're just going to take all of your fruit and your nuts and just going to combine this all together. And you just want to mix it up really well. It's been a little over an hour, and as you can see, it has doubled in size. Then all you're going to do is just punch it down. You're going to want to flour your surface. And I usually just kind of get it so it's like that, and then you're going to want to cut this into thirds, so pretty even, and there we go. Then you're just going to set two of them to the side, just kind of make it into that, put a little flour on top, and all you're going to do is just roll this. In, try to do it into like a triangle until it's about a quarter inch thick. Alright, then what you're going to do is you're going to take a third of this, which will be just over a cup or so. And then you're just going to spread it out. You don't want to get it too close to the edge. And then you're going to start with your thicker end, and then you're just going to roll it up so it's nice and tight. Now that I've got that rolled, I've got a greased pan here, and you do not want it to be ice cold, and then you'll kind of just shape it into a little bit of a crescent, and you'll just tuck in your edges. And I try to put usually the one, um, the smaller little corners down. And then you're just going to repeat this. And then once you have all three of them done, you're going to um, let them rise until they're almost doubled again. Now that these have about doubled in size, all you're going to do is bake them at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Alright, I just took the Stellan out of the oven and I usually let it sit on the um, pan for just a little bit to cool and then transfer them over to a cooling rack to cool all the way. And if you want, you can just eat them plain or I like them with a little bit of um, just butter and confectioner sugar frosting on top. Hope you enjoy!